Miss Chen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. I want to hear this from a crackhead. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You already know what time it is. It's more True Colors time. And we're about to see some more weird stuff. I didn't know what the hell was going on last time. But we're about to see now. So uh, let's hurry up and get into it. Mm -mm. So weird. You're not. Where are you now? Uh, okay. Oh, you're Was here that the again, last huh? time you talked to her? Mom. You did or what? I... So confused. I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. About to start fist fighting? <laughs> A record, really? There was only ever one thing to do at this oh time. God. What are you going to do when they start swinging on each other? Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> Alex? Hey. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? Huh? Mm. 
Bruh. It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did... Where are you going? <sighs> are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down! Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job. Again. So we're broke. Again. Don't yeah, talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex. What is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could <clears throat> see you now. I don't wanna hear about mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <clears throat> don't fucking touch me! Ah, push piece of shit. Shit. Dad. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, shit. <sighs> damn it. Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad! Dad, it's okay. It's really. Um, I'm not hurt. Shit. Oh, God, he's crying. I can't do this. You better run off. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Dad. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Damn, so he's gonna run away like a bitch. Bro, what's going on? <clears throat> hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? <laughs> the one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe... Come on. Bro, I'm trying to find if she's still 13, alive or not. What is going on? 14. 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. 
No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. You keep saying it, but what are you talking about? Play my part. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. Troubled? It did. This here, she's sensitive. What is that? I wonder why she's never found a home before. Even mean. Oh no, she's never had a home before. Bitch, that's why she's in. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I I really do. But there's just something oh. broken, wrong with her. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, it's only they shopping for a pet or some shit. Sorry. Why? <clears throat> you need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. <laughs> You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. <clears throat> it's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. You sure it's a gift? Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. <gasps> you is messed up. 
Your ribs should be broken. They should be stabbing your lung. It's dark as hell. I knew you couldn't walk. Your legs ought to be messed up. <laughs> you only got one match. You better use it. I'm calling bullshit on that shit. On that lung shit lighting. Ain't no way. Too convenient. All right, let's let's go in this spooky I've got tunnel. To find a way out of here. <clears throat> mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. Man, fuck Jed. I knew I shouldn't. I I was suspicious about him. I. Ugh. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh. Safety first. If it wouldn't hurt so much. How long has this stuff been down here? What's down here that they're trying to hide so bad? Me have been a little bit. I hate I'm claust claustrophobic darkness. Hey, oh, no. Okay. Huh? That's something. You see in the dark now? That aura is the only lead I've got. Hmm. This aura is way too red for me. All right, boys, getting close. Oh. Hell divers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. God damn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dick is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no everybody pumps killed? Is No one? My teams have never quit a dick this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. 
fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there! They'll drown! Yes! And so will we if we don't get the fuck out! Make the call, Jed! God damn it! God damn it! Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Hmm. Is that a fire? I'm not as oh. What is it? Uh, huh? Uh, guess where Gabe is? Wait, that's not him. The dead? Dad! Come back! Oh! Uh, Dad, you son of a bitch! That's why he never came back? Chen, you gotta stop, man. Dad! Fuck you, Chen! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. So he I'm knew y'all was I'm so sorry. He knew y'all was his kids. <clears throat> so where did Jet shoot you at them? He just got grazed. They was probably trying to bury all them bodies. <clears throat> Bro, you can't and during go my back time to that here, town. I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations mm -hmm. a bar owner who greets every customer by name it's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years history loyalty pride these values which define haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. Yeah, okay. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. Everybody needs to go to jail. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us. Especially him. He needs when a I death, say we're death eager penalty. to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Nah. Alex, oh my god, I'm fine. 
You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Hmm. Fuck it, there. I made it here in the I first found place. Out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <clears throat> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. Fuck it, I'm pretend. Fuck what you. What the hell happened? You try to kill me. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up <laughs> in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. <clears throat> so they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. So Gabe really Chad is knew it. All along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see. He tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of in on anything? Y'all new? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. Hold on. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. <clears throat> and trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very Man, illegal thing you. to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your oh, only family, come. wasn't he? Bitch. I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and... She needs an ass whooping. ...make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex oh, is Oh, that is about? your dad. Your dad's a psychopath no, killer. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought... Don't, I don't trust know. your dad, bro. I hoped I could be something of a father. Your dad's a killer. Too. All I can guess is... Sometimes when we're hurting... The people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. 
Here comes the butt. I believe you too. I'm <clears throat> horrified and shocked and Are you saying this? Still processing everything, but I believe you. I would like to speak. <laughs> what are you about to say? I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. I don't want to hear this from a crackhead. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible Are accusations you in on it too? against my friend. That's enough. Don't let him make you feel bad, sweetheart. No one here thinks you're a bad person. Old people. You know our mind can play tricks on us. No, I'm not you. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. You need help! The fuck? But it's always better in the end. We're Come at me like that. worried about you. How about treat me like I'm an idiot? You. The fuck? No, don't help me. I need to get out of here. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how test you... me, Jason. <laughs> you know what, what are you gonna do? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell, I do. Yeah. <laughs> well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from. Cut the crap! If you think you could shut me up, with it. Me that a uh, of this council has you believe me, right? This is a load of bullshit. <laughs> I don't believe Your dad's a psycho. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing? Your dad's a fucking psycho. Fucking. My dad is not a murderer. Your dad's a murderer, and you are too, nah, bitch. The fuck? Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together. Oh, but we Kane. are. I guess you're not. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan! After everything? Seriously, fuck you! Stop. He, deep down, he knows his dad's a killer. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you.
My father worked for you. His name was John. <clears throat> the world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe. You killed him brother. too. <clears throat> Haven was his second chance. He was so proud of who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because... It's something I'm good at. Both of these. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. That mustache is pissing me off. You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. <clears throat> but that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Hmm. Eleven years ago, you're a pussy. You led a group of men to their deaths, and you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, <clears throat> saying it in front of your son. But she's tearing you a new Every one. Every day, you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. Yeah. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes so it's weird. so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. <clears throat> I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Oh, 
Not dead, forgive. And I condemn you. Try to kill you, fuck him. <laughs> Well, you guys, I'm going to stop right here. <laughs> think that's enough drama for today. But if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.